Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm doing your second week of December reads, uh, starting from the 8th through the 14th of December 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Gemini. So let's see how this week is going to be for Gemini. So I will be adding messages from your person, plus I will also be adding oracle cards in this reading. So stay tuned, and uh, while I shuffle the cards, <clears throat> let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So Gemini, let's see how this week is going to be for you guys. Let's begin. Nine of Cups. Somebody is really getting their wish granted. Have you like you know it's uh you're gonna feel very emotionally um happy fulfilled in this week time especially you're walking into this week with that feeling basically so uh for some of you it's um you might have uh, received some sort of good news in love work home love situation be that directly linked to you or indirectly linked to you but yes i do see you starting of the week with a very positive uh, attitude positive thought process uh about about your life overall let's see more cards here the high priestess now for some of you you might be feeling some uh, some sort of a divine um guidance in regards to what you desire in your life right now as well like you know you might feel kind of aligned with the, whatever you desire so that too could be making you very you know happy positive excited um you might be seeing some signs and messages that are going to give you kind of you know a confirmation around your desire getting fulfilled as well so it is going to be different for the different Gemini's. For some of you, you might be getting your wish granted. For others of you, you would see that the divine uh, alignment is taking place in your life in this week time, which is definitely going to make you feel satisfied because you would know that, you know, you are on the right path and everything is working well for you. Um, for some of you, you might be seeing some angel numbers as well. And I feel like, you know, it's uh, again is a big sign that, yes, you are on the right path where you are going to find your wish granted. Let's see more cards here. Uh, nine of swords be open to receive some signs and messages coming from the divine through your dreams and uh, you know uh, uh, divine numbers as well uh, be be open to that because for some of you maybe uh, you you are already being guided towards it maybe you are missing out the information coming your way uh, be that around love work home life situation the universe has been helping you align you with what you desire so make sure you know that and you are picking up the signs and messages with which the divine has been helping uh, you through. Uh, let's see more cards here. Three of Cups. Wow. Eight of Cups. Beautiful. And the Nine of Pentacles. Um, for some of you, you might be taking certain decisions in your life around your love life, work life, home life situation as well, which is again going to make you feel good, which is all again is going to make you feel kind of... Uh, um, you are getting one step closer to what you asked for. Uh, for some of you, the, the you might have to take certain decisions, uh, which might not be like, you know, seem to be going in the direction of your dreams, but they will end up getting you there as well. So try not to hold yourself back. If you're feeling a pull or an inspiration to take a decision about your life in this week time, make sure you take that step forward towards it. Whatever it is, like, you know, whether you feel like, you know, this this decision cannot be right for me. But it will prove to be right for you. So just be open to that idea as well. Let's see some more cards here. Uh, the Hangman, Ace of Wands, and the Lovers. <clears throat> now, uh, hold on. I mean, the deck we do have the Knight of Cups. Now, for some of you, um, you might be receiving some sort of a marriage proposal or uh, uh, a person coming towards you uh, to propose you. It, it can be a completely different person than, than the one that you love, than the one that you expect. Um, whether you are single or whether you are in a relationship, whether you are in separation, whether you are in detachment, whatever the scenario is, I do see that somebody might be coming in your life to offer you a cup of love. Now, um, listen to your intuition around it because for some of you, this offer could be the one that you should take. For others of you, this should not be. Uh, this should be the offer that you should not consider. It is going to depend on different people. Like you know, for different Gemini's, you might be having um you know an offer coming your way which which you should take for others of you you should not take 
because uh, it's it's again be open to that signs coming from the divine if you see that the alignment is taking you closer to your specific someone go ahead take that decision if you think that the alignment that you see happening in your line uh, in your life right now is taking you away from your specific someone just let that happen just let that flow just let that go uh, because I feel like, you know, maybe in each and every process that you're going through right now in this week time, in your love life, in your life overall, you would see that the, the, the divine has a better plan to go about it. Maybe, maybe you feel like, you know, I, uh, maybe, maybe for some of you, you feel like you really want to be in a committed relationship. And it doesn't matter it is uh, happening with a specific someone or is it happening with a new person, you might be, you know, open to have uh, either one of them. Uh, whatever the scenario is going to be in this week time, I feel like, you know, the inner knowing that you would be having towards it is the best way to follow right now. So it is going to be different for different Geminis. But yes, for some of you, you have to take that new person's offer. For others of you, you have to wait on for the past person. Uh, but yes, the choice in love is going to be made in this week time. Let's see the messages from your person. Let's see what do they wish to say to you. Whoever it is, new person or the past person or the current person. Let's see what is it that they want you to know. What is it that they really want you to know. Being apart has been difficult but life changing for me. I value you more. Now for some of you, it can be a past person approaching you as well. Maybe you don't want to take that person's offer. But then, like I said, the offer that is coming your way is worth taking for majority of you. Be that coming from a new person or be that coming from the past person. Maybe you have your, you know, your concerns about accepting an offer coming from the past person. But yes you are going to you know value that offer and i feel like in you know, that offer be that coming from a new person or the past person it's going to be worth taking it but yes it is going to be again different for different gemini since it's a general read as well so make sure you know what what uh what um what is your uh you know uh side of the story is are you being guided towards taking that offer or are you being guided towards not taking that offer just listen to that I am finally realizing where I made a mistake. So I do see a past person coming in very strong here. Let's see one more message from uh, other deck. Let's see what they have to add to it. I feel like you know, this is a past person's message coming in very strong. I am focused on other things. Give me time. Now for some of you, this is the message from the past person and maybe the new person would be coming in in your life as well. So it's going to, again, it's a, it's a reconfirmation that it's going to be different for different Geminis. But yes, I feel like, you know, the offer that you might be getting is something um, maybe you should consider. Let's see more of the gods here. Let's see what else do we have. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Whatever it is that you are planning to have in your love life right now, make sure you value that connection. Uh, be that with a specific someone, be that with somebody new, make sure that you keep this connection as the sacred one, as the beautiful one, as you want it to be. Don't settle in for less than what you desire when it comes to your love life. Um, honor and uh, treasure the relationship that you get yourself into in this week time, especially. So uh, don't take anything for granted, be that a new person, past person, current person, ex, different ex, whatever, whoever is coming in your life, make sure you look at it from a beautiful perspective from a loving perspective let's see more oracle cards here we do have the goddess honor your uh, divine feminine energy see your inner beauty love every part of you it's very important for you to love yourself right now and decide for yourself um making the base of the of your decision should be your love for yourself you have to know that you are goddess of love you have to know that you are goddess of what you believe uh, that you dissolve so make sure you don't settle in for less in each and in, in each and every decision that you take you should not settle in for less than what you believe you deserve and desire and now uh, just just listen to your inner calling again around it so last card let's see what it has to add like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving number two for some of you i feel like you know it's, it's more of a proposal coming your way i feel like you know, it's more of a person coming your way with an intention to get married or intention to be with you forever so whoever it is that is coming your way make sure you um make sure you 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 know what do you want with this person and again make sure you don't take any decision based on your fear or past hurt pain suffering make sure you take that one decision of your love life right now in this week time based on um what you truly desire and what you believe uh when it comes to your connection when it comes to your love life if you really feel like giving a chance to a person coming from the past go ahead do that but if you feel that you you are worthy of somebody better than that uh for whatever reason 
don't settle in for less so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you uh, for uh this week time if it helped you do like share and subscribe and if you are willing to purchase any of the services uh that i offer you can check the description box for further details on that till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye